They're not very often very aggressive. When they are, they're, it's a little bit intimidating. You want to make sure that when you go in, you've got some way defending yourself, like with a, you know, an arm or a hand or, or your flashlight. Anything that was going to go in there and try to get her would just see nothing but claws and teeth. So I'll go in. No, no, no! Jesus Christ! Okay, we're we're One of the primary purposes of this study is to look at uh, detailed habitat used by black bears. So there are a couple of tree species that are really important uh, to bears, the, the uh, oaks and uh, especially red oak and uh, beech. If there's a really good uh, beech crop, then uh, bears will successfully reproduce and be able to produce enough milk to raise their cubs the following year. There she comes. Moderate wear. Moderate. And the tips of all the canines are chipped. Well, there's a lot of concern about what's going to happen to black bears in in, uh, in the future with with climate change. You know, if you have uh, more frequent droughts, then the chances are pretty good that you'll have more frequent food failures. And of course, there are negative consequences of those for black bear reproduction and survival. But there are also negative consequences for human bear conflicts because when we have a major food failure events, then we have uh, you know, major conflicts between humans and bears. This uh, collar is just a regular VHF, very high frequency collar, and, and we will follow it uh, by tracking from the ground and from the air. Uh, but we'll get move, general movement patterns and, uh, of course, whether it dies or not. This uh, female had two cubs last year, and uh, so both of them survived. We've just handled them both as yearlings, and they're both in, uh, in quite good shape, so that's good. So now we've got the cubs tagged, the yearlings tagged, rather, and radio collared. Uh, we've changed mom's uh, GPS collar. She's got a new GPS collar, and uh, this one is downloadable, so we'll be actually able to download the data as frequently as we want to in the spring and summer. You know, it's ironic, a lot of the conflicts we have with bears are over um, things that by definition we neither, neither want or, or, uh, or desire to keep, you know, technically garbage, but lots of bears get killed over stuff that we don't want and we ascribe no value to. So monitoring um, bear populations in central Ontario over the next while will give us uh, good, some good baseline information on what bear reproduction is like in this forest type and help us understand how that might change uh, and also help us better understand uh, you know what the under the conditions under which we can expect to have increased human bear conflicts